Hey there, welcome to Thirsty Thursdays. Thanks for hanging out at Izzo's place. And again, one of those rare times where you get to see me all gussied up. Anyway, we've got a head to head today. So if you're watching the short, check out the long version for the entire review. Uh, but if you're watching the short, thanks for enjoying that as well. So we have two different casks finished to try today. We have a Basil Hayden. This is finished in red wine casks. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say what kind of wine. It just says um, dry, finished in California red wine casks. So we have that to try. And it's going up against the Thomas S. Moore. Um, this is a cask finished finished in Merlot cask. So this one we actually know the the wine that it's that it's made in. I don't know if it's a California wine as well. I'll check on it and report back. Anyway, so let's try these. Um, we're going to start with the Basil Hayden. So I've had these out for a couple minutes. Wow, yeah. Yeah, it's got red wine notes in it. So I'm getting like a deep cherry from the bourbon end. But then it does smell like red wine drawn from that cask that it was finished in. That's very good. We're going to we're gonna nose them both before we taste. All right, so the Thomas says more. So this is a Merlot, specifically a Merlot. I heard good things about the Thomas S. Moore Cabernet uh, finish, and so uh, this is the only thing that was available locally. So I got that, and I'll keep an eye out for the Cabernet. Okay, not quite as fragrant. With this one, I'm getting more like a vanilla from the bourbon side, but then it just has that hint of red wine smell in there. So with red wine, you know, we're probably looking for, for oak, for oak, um, what else, like a deep cherry, maybe a tobacco, some, some earthy tones like that. Okay, this one's opened up a little bit. <clears throat> so, alright, let's try the Basil Hayden, let's see how this is. Okay, it ends up with like a, a sweet taste. <clears throat> it's very good. I'm not disappointed. But I can't place it. It's got a sweet note in there. <clears throat> so I definitely get an oak taste in it. But then it's just got something sweet, and I'm not quite sure what my palate's trying to identify it as. But that's very good. All right, now we got the Thomas S. Moore, so we'll get into the Merlot. Not getting a lot of the Merlot notes in here. <clears throat> Again, this is very good. I'm not disappointed. I bought these. The um, MSRP on them, uh, the Thomas Moore's around eighty dollars. The uh, Basil Hayden's around fifty. So, not cheap, but not super expensive. So, I would say the Thomas S. Moore. It's a very good finished bourbon, <clears throat> but if I'm putting these two head to head, the, uh, the Basil Hayden is pulling ahead a little bit, but let's, let's try this other sip, Basil Hayden again. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how I would describe the sweet note that's on the finish of this. Um, but they're both easy to drink. Uh, they both have a, a nice nose, although I prefer the Basil Hayden a little bit on the nose and the palate. Um, but they're both good. I would not be disappointed by it either. Um, in the future, I'll probably lean more towards this just because of the price point. Uh, but I am very interested in finding that Cab Sauv version of the Thomas S. Moore. So thank you so much for hanging out at Izzo's Place for a Thirsty Thursday. And I'll see you guys another time. Thanks.